Welcome to the Game Audio Resource Why is an Unreal Audio Implementation Guide series. In this guide, we highlight how to start and stop wise events when you enter and exit the house in the middle of the map, allowing the ambience to change. We will use a single trigger box with associated BP nodes to change between two events every time the player character moves through the trigger box. First, we set up the needed wise data. Navigate to the Audio tab, Act to Mixer Hierarchy, Environment Work Unit. Right click, then select New Child, Act to Mixer. Name it EMV underscore internal. Select the actor mixer. Then in the general settings tab, output bus, assign the environment audio bus. Also, in the general settings tab, under gain defined auxiliary sends, tick the use gain defined auxiliary sends tick box. Right click the actor mixer, then select new child random container. Name it EMV underscore internal underscore house. Drag in a looping low air drone audio asset, place it under the file importer destination path, SFX, environment, then new folder called internal. Select the looping audio asset, then in the general settings tab, tick the loop tick box. Right click the random container, then select new event, then play. Right click the random container again, then select New Event, Stop, then Stop. In the Events tab, right click the Environment Work Unit, then select New Child Virtual Folder. Name it EMV underscore internal. Locate the two new events. Rename the two events to Play Event becomes SFX underscore EMV underscore internal underscore house underscore loop underscore start. The stop event becomes SFX underscore EMV underscore internal underscore house underscore loop underscore stop. Drag both events into the new EMV internal virtual folder. We need to update the events to stop or start the global wind when the events are called. Select the event SFX underscore EMV underscore internal underscore house underscore loop underscore start. In the event editor, Right click the list, then select new action, stop, then stop. Then add another stop action to the list so you have two blank stop actions. Select each stop event action line individually, then change the scope to global. Return to the audio tab. Drag the EMV underscore wind loop and the one shot wing gus onto each of the two events blank lines. Next we add a fade to each of the three entries in the event, so that in-game the sounds smoothly crossfade and don't suddenly start and stop. Select the play line, then add a fade time value of 1. Then add a fade time value of 1 to the two other stop actions in the list. Select the event called SFX underscore EMV underscore internal underscore house underscore loop underscore stop. Right click the events list, then select new action then play. Add another play action to the list so you have two blank play actions. Navigate back to the audio tab, environment, EMV underscore wind actor mixer. Drag the wind looping and the one shot wind gust random container onto each of the two events blank action lines. Now add a fade time value of one to each of the three event actions in the list. Save your WISE project updates, then generate the sound banks. Next, we set up the associated Unreal hierarchy. Navigate to the content browser, content, then audio, then WISE underscore event, environment folder. Right click, then select new folder. Name it EMV underscore internal. Then open the new folder. Open the WISE picker. Then under the path, Event, default work unit, environment, EMV underscore internal. Drag in the two new start and stop events into the new Unreal folder. Select both the events, then right click and select edit. Assign both events to the sound bank SB underscore environment. Save the two event updates, then close the event window. Now generate the Unreal sound banks. 
Next, we shall add a collision box to the map. To start the internal room air loop and stop the external wind assets when the player character enters the house via a door. Then when the player character exits the house via a door, we will stop the internal air sound and restart the external wind loop content. Open the map that you are working with. Drag the following two events into the map. SFX underscore EMV underscore internal underscore house underscore loop underscore start and SFX underscore EMV underscore internal underscore house underscore loop underscore stop. In the world outliner list, right click the audio underscore SFX folder, then select create subfolder, name it EMV underscore internal. Drag the two internal underscore house events into the new folder. Select each event individually, then in the Details tab, AK Component, Occlusion Refresh Intervals, change the value to 0.0. In the Modes tab search box, type Box Trigger. Drag the box trigger from the list into the map. Position the box trigger at the house entrance door on the ground floor. Then with the box trigger selected, in the World Outliner list, Adjust the scale size of the box trigger in the Details tab so that it fully covers the ground floor door entrance. Name the trigger box TRG underscore EMV underscore house underscore GF underscore door underscore zero one. Drag the trigger box into the world outliner audio underscore SFX environment EMV underscore triggers folder. Now we have the box trigger implemented, we can tell a blueprint what to do with it. In the central toolbar, select Blueprints, then open Level Blueprint. In the World Outliner, select the box trigger TRG underscore EMV underscore house underscore GF underscore door underscore zero one. Then in the Level Blueprint, move to a large empty space in the graph. Then right click the graph. Then in the search box type On Actor Begin. Then select the On Actor Begin node from the list. Right click the graph. Then in the search box, type flip flop. Select it to add it to the graph. Right click the graph, then select the following AK node Audio Kinetic, Actor, then Post Event. In the Post Event node, AK Event, assign the event SFX underscore EMV underscore internal underscore house underscore loop underscore start. Drag the event from the World Outliner list, EMV underscore internal folder into the Level Blueprint graph. Right click the graph, then select the following AK node, Audio Kinetic, Actor, then Post Event. In the Post Event node, AK Event, assign the event as SFX underscore EMV underscore internal underscore house underscore loop underscore stop. Drag the same name event from the world outliner list EMV underscore internal folder into the level blueprint graph. Now connect the nodes together in the following order. On actor begin to flip flop, flip flop A output to post event with the event assigned to start SFX underscore EMV underscore internal underscore house underscore loop underscore start underscore zero one node to post event actor input Flip flop B output to post event with the event assigned to stop. Then SFX underscore EMV underscore internal underscore house underscore loop underscore stop underscore zero one node to the post event actor input that is assigned to the associated event stop. Compile and save the level blueprint. Now play the map. Confirm that when you enter the house, the external global wind fades out and the internal air loop fades in. Then exit the house and confirm the internal air loop fades out and the external wind fades in. You have now set up one door to change the ambience depending on if the player character is entering or exiting the house by the ground floor door. As this is simply a continuous AB switch, if we exit the first floor door, then enter the house again via the ground floor door, the wrong ambience will be triggered. 
To stop that from happening, we need to add the same process again for the first floor balcony door. Use this guy's steps to implement a box trigger around the first floor door. Then associate the new box trigger to a new on actor begin node in the level blueprint. With the flip flop node A and B paths, this time we'll place them in reverse, as we're inside the house first. With the flip flop nodes A and B paths, this time we'll place them in reverse. The A path will become the stop event. The B path will then become the start event. As we have now set up all blueprint nodes needed, we'll group all new nodes together. Left mouse click, drag and hold a new box around the new nodes. Then press C on your keyboard. In the new comments box bar, name it SFX Trigger Environment Internal. On screen now shows how the blueprint will look after all blueprint node updates have been added. Compile and save the level blueprint updates. Now we can test our updates in game. Connect wise to Unreal, then change to the wise layout profiler. Then play the map. Move the player character inside the house. You should hear the ambience change. Then move the player character up the stairs to the first floor balcony door. You should now hear the ambience change to the external wind content and fade out the internal air sounds. Check all fade in and fade out sound smooth. Make any balancing changes you wish to add. Disconnect WISE to Unreal. Then save the WISE project updates and generate the WISE sound banks. Lastly, generate the Unreal sound banks. Then import the sound bank changes.